Destoroyer. Though taking several forms throughout his appearances, this kaiju does in fact originate as many microscopic crustaceans, mutated and twisted by the oxygen destroyer bomb. Man's own weapon creates a weapon that can destroy all mankind. Both the irony and symbolism is, as always, present in the Godzilla franchise. When the weapon of mass destruction was deployed in Tokyo Bay in 1954, the aim was to destroy Godzilla. Little did they know they would create an even bigger threat. The crustaceans that mutated from the weapon began to slowly, over time, evolve and combine into one creature, going through various forms and appearances. The first of these forms is around a centimetre long, with a flattened shell and some spiky protrusions. It was this form that alerted humanity to Destoroyer's presence, as it was seen killing the fish in an aquarium. The next form we see of Destoroyer is roughly human in size, though the form is anything but humanoid. With six legs, a horn, crested head, and an insectoid mouth, complete with a set of mandibles. When this form gets attacked, they combine into Destoroyer's next form, essentially just a larger version, however, with some subtle differences. It is far larger than its previous form, and it has an extra set of limbs. These protrude from its back. Along with this, the creature acquired a protruding inner jaw that can inject micro-oxygen into victims. From here, the kaiju begins to share some similarities with Hedora. Kind of. Its next form is a flying creature. The limbs reduce and change into a set of sails, or kind of glider. They act as wings, and this gives the kaiju the ability of flight. The other thing to note with this form is Destoroya resembles more of a reptile than in previous forms, and he even has a tail. The forms all share some similarities, from his crab-like form, insectoid, or even the bat-like form. Ultimately though, Destoroyer's final form is something more akin to a demon, a monstrous kaiju that resembles the devil himself. The largest form Destoroyer takes is its final form, twice the size of Godzilla, the king. He has bat-like wings, long horns atop its head and stands in a bipedal stance. Along with this, he has a tail complete with a pincer at the end, likely a trait from its crustacean origin. Unlike a lot of the other kaiju Godzilla faces, Destoroyer is not being controlled by anyone. He seems to be entirely aware of what he is doing, in fact, even appearing to relish in his violent and horrendous acts, taking joy in the destruction and death he causes. That, combined with his immense power, makes Destoroyer one of the most formidable foes Godzilla has ever faced, very close, in fact, to King Ghidorah. Much like Ghidorah and Shinomura, Destoroyer is made up of many, Unlike these, however, Destoroyer is in fact less durable. Whereas the others can simply break apart and fuse again, each cell acting separately to one another, Destoroyer, when one complete being, can in fact be killed. All fused cells die along with the whole. Though he can and does avoid this by breaking apart into many smaller forms. Destoroyer has a myriad of abilities shown throughout various mediums, but the main ones presented in the film he featured in is the use of his claws and tail, along with its jaws. The jaws can act as an energy drain by injecting micro-oxygen into the opponent. He also has the ability to produce a beam from his horns or a form of a laser. This laser is so strong it was shown to cut through Godzilla's flesh. But the most devastating weapon he has at his side is his micro-oxygen beam, a destructive ray of energy the kaiju can fire from its mouth. It vaporizes most organic matter and can even destroy and cut through metals. So what do you guys make of Destoroyer? Yes, there are some other abilities he has, but I focus mainly on the ones from the movie. If you have a favourite from another medium, please do let me know, and any other thoughts you have down below in the comment section. And moving forwards for all your Godzilla and Kaiju content, then stick with me, Mr. H. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay notified of all my future content. If you did enjoy this video, then please consider leaving a like, as it does help the channel out. I've been Mr. H, and until next time, I'll catch you in the comment section.